we have seven sacraments. And as we know, the basic definition, the sacrament has an outward sign. It gives us what? Inward grace. And it was instituted by who? Christ for his church. In order that we can have salvation. Salvation. So these seven sacraments were instituted by Christ. These seven, however, are categorized into three. We have the sacraments of Christian initiation, the sacraments of healing, and the sacraments of vocation. The sacraments of Christian initiation, baptism, confirmation, Holy Eucharist, to initiate you into the church. Then we have the second category, the sacraments of healing. That is the sacrament of reconciliation and penance, confession. It heals you. And then the second one there is the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. People think that when you are going to die, that is when, no, 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 no. That is not only the time. It's to heal you. So Susanna, you told, oh, let me anoint you, Father. Anoint in there. Take your time. And you go to the hospital and some Catholics are, when they are sick, they say, Mommy, let me anoint you, Father. You take, I'll, I'll, I'll come home. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no, no. It is not to kill you. No. It is to heal you. Then we have the third category, the vocation. Holy matrimony and the sacrament of what? Holy orders. And today, in today's gospel, these two sacraments, holy matrimony and the sacrament of holy orders, is mentioned or in, in one way or the other. Many young people, I'm a priest, I sit in my office, many, I'm using it, many young people, I don't think they understand what marriage is. Their marriages will be blessed in April. By October, they won't divorce. Some will be blessed in January. By June, they are chasing us. And when they come, you tell them, go for marriage counseling. Six months. They say, no, it's too long. But man, look at that, these two sacraments. The priesthood and marriage. I went, me, I went to the seminary for ten years. Ten. Before I was ordained the priest. Even that one is still not easy. Ten. The priest you see in your parishes, nobody was ordained five years old. Nine, ten, eleven, some even thirteen. And you want to marry, have six months counseling, understand the sacrament, imbue it into your hearts, get it, understand that whatever you be taught there, receive the word of God, not as the word of man, but as truly is the word of God. No, 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 we don't want. And so, many of us don't enter into the sacrament of marriage understanding what we are entering. We watch DSTV, we watch, we watch uh, TV3 or whatever, and we think that what we see on the television as marriage is marriage. No. The sacrament of marriage is greater than that. The giving of the self to each other, that a man and a woman we live together as one. It is not easy. Before you met, maybe in a school or everywhere, you had lived your lives apart from each other for years, over 20 years. So if you are going to stay together, you need grace that the two of you can stay as what? One. There will be differences in understanding. But you communicate with each other. But one of the basic things I think is affecting marriages is pride. P R I D E, pride. Not ready to humble ourselves to understand each other. Men, oh, we are the head of the family, we won't understand you. Women, oh, yes, we, and so what? We, that is the issue. And I'm talking about, sure, marriages have always, there have always been divorces. But the rate at which it is happening now is dangerous. And for us, the Catholic Church, note that even when the state has granted you divorce, your family has accepted the drinks and you think that you have broken the marriage traditionally and what? Within the civil context. Don't think that the church would, can be forced to annul a marriage. 
No, I know people who have had civil divorce, they have uh, gone to the traditional divorce, but the church still sees them as what? Married. As we heard, once I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful and marries another, commits adultery. So until we detect that there was something unlawful, there was an impediment, the marriage cannot be declared invalid. It is valid. Reason why we will say in Latin, festina lente, hasten slowly. Hasten, but slowly. Take your time. There is no giddy giddy in life, as Father Chifu will say. Take it easy. Understand. Let the Lord inspire you. Make sure you make the right choice. And nobody is perfect. But make the right choice. Take your time. Learn, go through counseling. And sometimes I blame myself. As a priest, I'm, I'm part. And sometimes with the parents. In the Catholic Church, I say always, a male can marry at the age, age of 16. In the canon law, 16, 1, 6. A female can marry at the age of 14, 1, 4. So this is also much of them. <laughs> of them are qualified. Per the canon law. But the church allows, is careful, that not all places would have people at these ages mature enough, isn't it? So the laws of the country, so if the country you are in allows 16, 14, well, if you want to take, no problem. But like a place like Ghana, whereby 16, 14, <laughs> you go and tell your mother you want to marry. Hey, you don't want to sleep in the house again. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't want to eat for, for, for one month. <laughs> You want to st stop school, <laughs> you know. And the loss of the country takes control. But why am I saying this? We have what we call remote counseling, remote, and then immediate counseling. Remote counseling is that when the child has even received confirmation, like these young ones, even if it's one once in a month, isn't it? They have cut cases to understand what the sacrament of what marriage so when you're on vacation the counselors meet them the priest will meet them then you teach them because some, many of them are coming from homes that there is divorce i go to secondary schools ola st roses pope john's whatever for retreats you'll be amazed the number of children coming to you who are from broken families who have never seen their, their fathers or never seen their mothers and they are weeping as they speak to you so you see that it is important that the church, the church fills in the gap by teaching them the precepts of good marriage. And sometimes some don't even want to marry because of what they have seen in the lives of their parents. And that is why parents, please, don't follow pride. If you know what some children tell us as priests, then you are, you, are so, you are so broken. The parents are following pride. Oh no, no father, I will not. And you see the child, one, one lady, the father, I never taught after 19 years that my parents will divorce never never broken he says father i'm even scared of marriage if my father and mother the family i knew and i knew this family used to go there at christmas to church and all that yes and you see that what they had discovered what they, it is just something trivial pride communication giving up of the self look at jesus christ christ is married to the church if Christ, <laughs> do you know the number of times the church has broken the heart of Christ? He still continues to be Christ. He has not divorced the church. Are we priests? Are we better than you, even the lady faithful? Isn't Christ still faithful to the church? Look at the number of times you have sinned against God. He's still faithful. Look at him. He's still faithful. And your wife has done one. And you, too, you, don't, want, you don't want to change. You are so arrogant. And you can pride yourself. Hey, you are not scared of the gift that God has given you. You think marriage is, uh, oh, I made a choice. It is a gift from God. So please, let us take counseling serious. And I'll tell you, when your children are told, come for remote counseling, allow them to go. Don't tell them, go and watch a, 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 a play, PlayStation 5. Go and watch a movie. Let's go and eat a mutuo. Let them learn about the church. Remote counseling. Immediate counseling is what you do. The six months, isn't it? Even that one, the Pope has, just about a month ago, said that it is too what? We should have lengthy cut cases. Because in other jurisdictions, they don't even have the six months. One, three, one, one month, they are married. 
so that the immediate counseling will teach you maybe how to have sex how to do this you know but how to take care of your your, your, your wife take care of your husband marriage life as young as 16 14 the children must begin to understand those who want to be priests will be priests those who be married couples will be better married then we can solve the problem and pray that God himself will fill us with his grace the last part of my homily is about the last part of the gospel some are incapable of marriage because they were born so some because they were made so by others some because they have renounced marriage for the kingdom of heaven many a time i meet catholics asking father why are you not married matthew chapter 19 when you go read the whole verse 3 to verse 12 again and when they ask you questions that an aroma so from worry sure some of ourselves have been making mistakes breaking our vows of celibacy and all that but god's grace will surely lead us to and we pray that's why you'll be praying for your priest because we have right now not that we are impotent we are potent we are potent i'm not impotent no it's just you see now <laughs> by the way people they think i remember when i was in taifa one person said hey father now who mba what is it so who mba your feelings i'm saying hey do i look like a tree <laughs> do i look like a tree i'm a human being but you have renounced isn't it you have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven because in heaven there is no what there's no marriage don't think that you marry your husband again in in heaven so some of you you'll be very happy there'll be no marriage in heaven say right the way you meet you because you're happy you meet your wife again in heaven as a, a couple but you know as we say priests become they become the sign of eternal life just as there'll be no marriage in heaven our lives should depict that and that is what we pray for that god will choose many 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 young men to become for saint james i'm praying that through gerald's ordination not less than five i have great ambition isn't it <laughs> not less than five young men who have the desire and we pray that god will sustain them to renounce marriage for the sake of the kingdom. Amen.